Hey everyone, in this video today, I'm going to show you how to use the Bissell Big Green Carpet Cleaner, which you can rent from a big retail store. I use it to clean the right side, and it's looking pretty good. This left side here, you can see some stains. We're just going to get that all cleaned up just fine. You can actually find rental locations online, and you can save $7 if you sign up for their newsletter. For me, I spent $29 to rent this for 24 hours, plus $18 in cleaning supplies. So here's how to fill up the machine. First, we're going to remove this tank. Second, we have this tank over here. We're going to run the water faucet until we get hot water. Once the water is hot, we'll remove the cap here. And then fill this all the way up. So on this tank, there is a water fill line up here. Just make sure your hot water goes all the way to the top. Next, we have this Bissell solution here. I'm just going to open this. And we have to put two capfuls. So over here, there's going to be a fill line. So that's number one. And there goes number two. After that, you can place the cap back onto the unit. Put the water tank back in place. There is the word front on the unit to help out. And then we'll put the waste tank right on top of it. And slide that handle towards the back to lock it in place. Turn it on. Push the handle down. Squeeze the red trigger. And while squeezing the red trigger, push the machine forward slowly down the same line. And while squeezing the red trigger, pull it back down the same line as well. Then let go of the red trigger. So I sped up the video two times. I'm literally taking this slowly just to make sure I can maximize the number of dirt I get. Now we're pulling it back down the same line as well, still holding on to the red trigger. Now, notice my hand is off the trigger when I push it down the same line once again. This time what we're doing is we're just letting it vacuum up everything that it just sprayed down. So when you squeeze the red trigger down, you're spraying the carpet down that one line. Then you come back and you vacuum it all back up. And with that, one line down, many more to go. So now to clean the tank, all we have to do is lift this up to remove this tank. We'll take it to the bathroom. And now over here, we're just gonna lift this top off. Then we can just pour all of this out. Over the course of cleaning my house, I had to empty this tank at least eight times and refill with solution about eight times. So now to put this cover on, you have to slide this handle forward in the unlock position and then slide it back to get it to lock to be able to carry it as one piece. While cleaning, make sure the flow indicator is spinning. Once it stops spinning, that usually means you do not have any solution in the lower tank. That means it's time to refill that with water and solution. So now we're gonna cover how to attach the tool and use it. So you see, we have this big suction hose. We're just gonna place that right into this large hole over here, turn clockwise until it snaps. And for this one, you can see it just plugs right in here, turn it clockwise as well, and then that will snap too. Now the tool's ready to go. Now we'll turn this machine on. So here's the brush attachment. See, he has a spray. That. So I'm gonna be treating this similarly to operating the larger unit. Spray it as we're going down one line, both directions, and then let it suck it up in both directions as well. In this case, sometimes you do have to brush harder depending on the stain. And lastly, the cool part about this tool is I can use it in my car to remove stains as well. See I here I have on the ceiling some stains, and lo and behold, after scrubbing it and vacuuming it up, that stain is gone. This stain will also go away as well, leaving my headliner pretty clean. I ended up taking this to the seats as well and the car carpets. This is a before picture of one of my car seats. Pretty dirty. And here's a picture of that same seat after running it through this Bissell cleaner. You can see there's a difference here. 
And that's all I have for you today. Please don't forget to like and subscribe, and I hope to see you in the next video. Goodbye.